You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. Types of writing, genres. Genres, uh, genre just means type. Um, and you'll see the term genre used in a couple different ways on the test. But one of the ways that they will use it to, to describe the types, a type of writing in terms of what that writing tries to accomplish. Um, so let's talk about the, some of the types of writing you might be asked to identify. Sometimes I'll give you a passage and a couple different questions about that same passage. One of them might be, what type of writing is this passage? Um, so first of all, narrative writing. Narrative writing is writing that tells a story. Um, so Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men tells the story of George and Lenny um, and what happens to them on a farm. So that's a piece of narrative writing. Interpretive writing is writing that examines an existing work and attempts to find or explain meaning. Um, so if I were to write an essay about Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men and I were to look at it and talk about what is the theme of Of Mice and Men, what is he trying to say here, that would be an interpretive essay. Um, analytical writing is writing that examines a work or issue and attempts to identify and evaluate critical elements. So if I were to compare the writing styles of Faulkner, Hemingway, and Steinbeck maybe, and say Hemingway uses short sentences um, and not very many adjectives, Faulkner uses more complex constructs, um, etc. That would be an analytical essay that I would be writing. I would be examining and evaluating critical elements of the writing styles in that particular case. Um, descriptive writing is writing that tells of or depicts a person, place, thing, or idea. It just describes something. So that one's pretty easy. Descriptive writing describes something. Um, persuasive writing is writing that attempts to convince. So if at any point I'm trying to convince you of something in that writing, then that piece is a persuasive piece of writing. Um, and lastly, expository writing. Expository writing is writing that attempts to set forth or explain a concept. Um, so this PowerPoint slide is an example of expository writing. Um, it comes from the same root as expose. It's trying to expose people to some new information. So it's trying to teach something or explain something. Expository writing. Other forms of writing include summaries, letters, and research reports. And each of these types of writing um, has different conventions associated with it. For example, summaries might use bullet points or something like that. Um, letters begin with a salutation. They have a body. They have a closing. They might have a postscript. All of these are conventions of letter writing. Research reports have bibliographies, they have annotations and footnotes, things like that are conventions specific to research reports and that type of writing. So the type of conventions that exist depend on the type of writing that is being undertaken. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.